Hey guys, how the hell are you? Welcome back to Arnold Drinks. My name is Arnold, and tonight, I drink. So tonight I'm drinking something really special, and don't get me wrong, I feel very, very lucky for having procured this, especially at retail price, since this is what this is. It's a Buffalo Trace product, it's allocated, there's a hype train going on this, it is next to impossible to find, let alone at retail price. On the secondary market, this goes for ridiculous figures, but I'm very, very fortunate enough to have Old Charter Oak French Oak on this channel. This is a 12 year aged in French Oak bourbon. Now, from what I understand, this is Buffalo Trace Mash Bill 1, so you're gonna get a lot of familiar characteristics in the flavor profile, but where this is different is that it is still a bourbon aged 12 years, this time in charred French oak barrels. Now, I don't want to dive too deep into the differences of what makes French oak special compared to American oak. For that, I'm just going to suggest Google it. You're going to find a lot more information than I can spew out for you here. What we're concerned about is how does the thing taste? What is the overall experience like? Is this worth chasing after? So with that, let's just get into it. Super honey sweetened dark fruit on the aroma. A lot of plum in there, a little bit of graininess in there, a little bit of brown sugar in there too. I feel like the dominant sweet note that's in there is a honey character. There's a little bit of cherry in there too, but more plum than cherry on the aroma. But there is a little bit of brown sugar in there kind of intermingling with the fruity sweetness and with that honey sweetness. A little floral too, but not extreme perfume notes. So just a little hint of it in the back there. Little woody too, just a little bit of an oaky care. Let's go in, cheers. Oh wow, that honey sweetened dark fruit note gives way to a bit more of cherry in the palate. There's still a very prominent dark kind of plum, kind of fig uh, note that's in there. A bit more grainy, a bit more of that oak character coming through on the finish. Like, ooh, now a, a lot of that oak is actually coming through in the finish. Quite nice, actually. I kind of like that a lot. Let's go in for a second sip. Bit more of that wildflower honey note coming out, but there's also a little bit more graininess. It's woody, it's grainy, but it, it just has a, a weird thing going on with it, like it's trying to smooth itself out, for lack of a better description. There's still a little bit of a sharpness to it. There's still a little bit of that character, being that this is a relatively freshly opened bottle. This is actually my first sip of it, believe it or not. Take that for what it is to, might be a little bit of a neck pour thing that I'm getting a little bit of a sharpness from, as, as well as a little bit of oaky astringency. But honestly, this is already this good, even on the very first pour, even after having this thing only open for a couple days. I mean, I can't wait to see what this does on my shelf after a few weeks, maybe. Let's go in for another sip. So a note that I keep coming back to, but I kind of felt a little weird mentioning it, but on this last sip that I just had, it's really, really prominent. I'm gonna say Fig Newton. There's a certain graininess to it, that dark fruitiness to it, but it's sweet. It's got a little bit of sugar sweetness to it. Very, very Fig Newton. And that is not a bad thing at all all, especially from the type of bourbons that I like. This is, whoo, that is kind of outstanding, to be honest with you. I really, really like that a lot. That is fantastic. 
So, I mean, overall, I just think that this is a fantastic bottle. Now, is it something where the hype train is worth it? I don't know. I feel like with a lot of these Buffalo Trace products, now that I'm getting to actually get my hands on them, getting to try them, getting to see what the hype is all about, don't get me wrong, they are fantastic bourbons. The juice inside is great, with the exception of Blanton's, but is it something that would be worth spending hundreds upon hundreds of dollars for on secondary i mean it's a rare bottle but are you gonna buy it to look at it you should buy it to drink it and in my opinion the juice inside is great but is it worth three figures let alone four nah but at the same time, if I was to get the opportunity to pick up another bottle of this at retail, and there again, bear it in mind, this is only the very first sip of this I've ever had. This has been open for a couple days at this point, so probably still a little bit of sharpness, probably still a little bit of astringency from a little bit of neck pour going on, and I'm loving it this much. I would happily buy this again if it's under three figures. So thank you guys so very much for tuning in. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to this channel, tons more of this content to come. And as always, remember, take what you do seriously, but do not take yourselves too seriously.